One tutorial, three minutes, coming your way. Wow, I keep hitting the microphone. That's gonna suck for you guys. Today's three minute tip, I'm gonna teach you how to use Vectric software to flatten a cutting board. Who would use a CNC machine to flatten a cutting board when you have a planer? This guy does. So let's quick talk about the reasons why you would use a CNC machine to flatten a cutting board before we go through all the trouble going through Vectric to show you how it's done. This is my cutting board. I made it from some scraps and I don't want to run it through the planer because I don't want snipe on the ends. I don't want to have to sand that off. What a pain in the butt. And then when you go to put feet on it, they rocks. I'd rather just use a CNC machine, make this side flat, flip it over, make this side flat. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. I'm using Vectric software. I'm using VCarve Pro. You can use any of the Vectrics to work. They'll work, no problem. Here's the first thing we're going to do. Create a file and we are going to type in the dimensions of our cutting board. Then we're going to make sure the datum is in the center. And then we are going to click OK. Now that we have our square, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go to draw a rectangle. Click on draw a rectangle. We are gonna put in our dimensions and we are going to hit create. Highlight the, the square we just created. Notice it's the same size as our cutting board. Well, I'm using a one and one eighth inch surfacing bit to surface this. I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of overhang on all four sides of the board. So that way it fully cuts everything even because that bit is round. It needs to come all the way across. So I am going to go to offset, which is right here. I want to make a bigger square. And we're going to go, we want that square to be outside 0.75. That'll get us plenty past. All right. And then I'm going to delete the original and I'm going to hit offset. It makes a nice offset. You see it's out here. The original is gone. I can't click on it. I'm going to hit close. All right. Next step, we're going to hit this button and we're going to switch this over. But my head's in the way. Ready? Ah, I moved. Okay. The first thing I do on tool pass side is I organize everything. So I come right up here to the layer. I drop that down. I change the name. I'm going to call this surface. So anything that has to do with surfacing is going to be in this tool path. We are going to go to pocket tool path because we want to pocket all this out. That's basically what this is. It's a big surfacing pocket. So pocket tool path. I'm going to put my depth. I want it 0 0.02. I don't need it to be very deep. I'm just planing the surface, making it even. I'm using for a bit. You can go to your select here, right here. You can pick your bit that you want. I have it set already as a spoil board bit. It's a mono bit. It's an inch and one eighth wide. And I'll leave a link somewhere for you to find it. And we are going to use raster because we want this to go back and forth over here. We are going to rename this surface path. Click calculate. Oh, one thing you always have to have your tool path highlighted. Hit calculate. Boom, there it is. I'm going to go preview all tool paths. And you can see this is exactly how the bit is going to make its pattern, and it is red. That is awesome. That is exactly what we want, and that will surface your board. Let's go over to the CNC machine and see how it looks. I love it. Cancel my subscription to Epidemic Sound. I'm gonna make my own sound effects from now on. <laughs> I love it. I'm so silly. Okay, anyway, back to work. on both sides. It was, it did a great job. And that's how you use your CNC machine to flatten your cutting board. So on that note, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. It's cold out here. You see my breath? So I'm going in now. Go be great.